Hi again. I'm going to explain using a flow diagram to start the forming of a rule in numeric patterns. I have taken this question paper from Mrs. van der Vester Harrison's uh, assignment and it's my privilege to be able to explain it to you. Before we go on any further, you'll see that some information on the side is actually a bit cut off. Um, the reason I've done this is that I'm trying to get in as close as I can so that you can um, actually read the numbers when watching the video. Now, in foundation phase and perhaps even early intermediate phase, this side was called input. The numbers came in to the machine box or whatever the teacher used to call it. But this is where the rule or the operation occurred. 1 times 5 is 5. And this was called output. So 5 comes in, it follows the rule times 5, and when it goes out, 5 times 5 is 25. This side used to be called input, and this side is called output. But now that we are getting older, we can't use words like input and output. We should actually be talking perhaps about x and y's. So in this example, we have called this column x and this column y. So we still follow the flow diagram. 10 times 5 is 50. 20 times 5 is 100. 100 times 5 is 500. Now, that's pretty simple. And I think most children can do that. Just be careful of your tables and don't rush. But now we're going to take this information and we're going to put it into a table. So let's have a look. And once we've put it into the table, we'll be able to form a rule. So our input is 1. 1 was times by 5. Okay? This is our rule. I'm just going to highlight, highlight it for you so it stands out. 1 times 5 is 5. Check. 5 times 5 is 25. Check. 10 times 5 is 50. Check. 20 times 5 is 100. Check. 100 times 5 is 500. Now, as you can see, this rule has worked for all the given numbers, and we have tested the pattern. But now the pattern is slowly getting bigger, and the input jumps, or should I say the x, or position, jumps to 200. So if the rule worked for these numbers, it has to work for this. So 200 times 5. Let's break it down. 2 times 5 is 10. And the two zeros left, bring it down. I'm using the pattern to multiply. But 200 times 5 is 1,000. On the end, over here, I already have what is going to come out, the output, but I want to know what I put in. Now in all these cases, it was times 5, times 5, times 5, times 5, times 5, times 5. Input multiplied by a rule times 5 gave me a 100. But now if I have the answer, I have to work backwards. I have to do the inverse. I have to do the opposite. Opposite means inverse. So if I multiplied by 5 to get to my output, and I have an output, I now have to divide by 5. 5,000 divided by 5 equals 1,000. But we're not finished yet. Now as we grow up, we want to know what the rule is. And if we're going to write this down, x, which is normally your positions, 
uh, your pattern positions, and we're calling it x. x times by 5 gave me y. So, x times 5 gave me y. And you now have your rule and your pattern all sorted.